There's no other way to put this. The John Deere 9RT is out and it's available on all platforms. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We got new mods today for Farming Simulator 19 and every mod that you see today will be available on all platforms. PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, Ah, yeah, everybody's getting some today. So we got the John Deere 9RT series. This thing is a hoss. We also have two different orchards. That's right, orchards are back. They're a little different from 17, but I gotta say, I, I kinda like it. I kinda like it a lot. We also have the Slurry Lagoon mod from Dorset. Again, one of my favorite modders for Farming Simulator 19. We have three different sizes, or shapes rather, and they all do different things. We also have a brand new map, and we've got this one little guy up here. The Transport Tool by White Bull Modding. You guys ever seen anything like this? Let's check them out. First up, we've got this guy right here. This is the transport tool by White Bull Modding. Now, this thing, it acts like a bucket. However, you have to manually tip it just like a bucket. But we can also stick on here, which is really cool, tension belts. So that is kind of neat. We can raise and lower it just like we would raise and lower a weight. You can open the back and tip it up if you would like, which is kind of cool. Let's check this out. This is not going to be where you think it is. This is not in miscellaneous. This is in trailers. And if you've got a bunch of trailers installed, you may find yourself going and going and going. Now, here's the problem. Don't go looking for transport tool because you're not going to find it. You're going to find loader. I don't know why they keep changing the names on these things. Kind of getting annoying. But here it is right here the transport tool or the loader 2000 liter capacity main color you could change to whatever color you would like doesn't matter as long as you like it, it's all good it's going to cost you $1400 base price $1600 when adding the color so there you go we got to think about this mod I like it. Next up, we have the big boy, the John Deere 9RT series. This right here is a hoss. Uh, we've got by Stefan Baron, Ravzar, and Custom Modding made this for us. This is available on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. I know you guys want to take a look at it. This is a almost fully decked out version. I didn't go with one feature because I think it looks silly, but it is what it is. You're gonna find this in, oh, you bet it, large tractors. Oh me, oh my, bump over until you see it. Right there, it's gonna be right before your big buds. Oh, it's, it's almost like a dream. I just woke up, I feel like I'm still dreaming. Configuration, we have standard, 600 kilogram weight, 1,000 kilogram weight, oh, it keeps going. 1,400 kilogram weight and 2,200 kilogram weight. Look how much weight it puts on this thing. Normally you put like a thousand kilograms on the front and the tractor's dipping. Look at that. It barely moves with 2,200 kilograms. Anyway, so we have 30 inch tracks, 36 inch tracks, which I figure a lot of people are gonna be going with that. There is no price increase, so why not use the bigger ones? Wheel setups, we have standard tracks. We also have standard weights, 300 kilogram. What that does, it adds more weight to the front spinning disc right there. And we also have a thousand, so it adds another weight to the side right here. I did not go with this option. Again, I think it looks silly, but hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. And then design, we have the US version and the U or the EU version. So what it does is it changes the weight on the front just a bit. Uh, it also adds uh, all these caution markers and everything. So you guys can check that out. We will probably be using the American version on here. I was waiting on this mod to use on Peterville for no reason other than to have the biggest tractor we possibly can. So we'll probably go with the EU version there. And then engine setup, this is where it gets interesting because uh, th this is actually interesting because if you go with the EU version, so we've got uh, 572, 517, and 628 horsepower versions. When going with the US version, oh, that's weird. So just a second ago, hold up, hold up. I got to bump out. I think I found something. Look at that. Okay, 470 horsepower, right? But. If you click away from that, you don't get that engine option. 
Oh, that's weird. So we have the 9470 RT, but if we click off of it and click back to it, it goes to 517 horsepower for free. So uh, pro tip right here, if you guys are using this, don't, <laughs> don't just get the standard version. Go down here to the 9470RT, which is your base engine. You see it says 470 horsepower. Click over, click back. Now it says 517. What? It is what it is, I guess. So 470, 517, 572, and 628 horsepower configurations. Uh, again, do be careful. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if that's something that they meant to change but didn't. And maybe it's the real engine setup. And maybe it's just a little Easter egg for us. You never know. But there is your John Deere 9RT. Goodness gracious. Next up, we've got this guy right here, the Fruit Orchards. We have two of these. We have an apple version and an orange version. Orange is on the left or the right. Apples are here on the left. So, of course, manure and water to be added. The thing is, in the description, it says that these placeable apple and orange orchards will produce an hourly income when water is added. By adding manure, you will double your income by producing a better yield. Fruit is sold automatically every hour. Okay, so fruit's sold automatically. Well, here's, a, uh, here's the interesting part. It also says that each orchard comes with an automatic watering at 6 hours, 10 hours, 1300 hours, and 1700 hours. So, do these have automatic watering? Or do we have to water them? Well, in order to find out, we've got to grab us something to do that with. Yeah, look what I found. Let's go ahead and turn on the HUD here so we can see what we're doing. So we're just going to be using the Apple version today. So water fill level zero, manure fill level zero. Now the manure fill level is going up and it is going to take quite a bit of manure. So we put 3000 liters in that hit it up to 50%. So that is going to be a 6000 liter manure thing right there. Well, it says that watering comes around at 10 hundred hours and 1300 hours so what we're gonna do because right now we're at 1003 what we're gonna do is we are going to hang around until 1300 hours to see if automatic watering really happens okay we're at 1230 now i'm sitting here waiting to see if the water fill level goes up and it did not which is kind of interesting I'm not really sure what's going on with that but I am not seeing an automatic watering at those times, so that leads me to believe that we need to come in here and we need to actually give them water. Not really sure what the automatic watering is all about. Hey, if you guys know, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll make sure to pin the comment. Let's put this right here and unload. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Would you, uh, oh, I think I know what the automatic watering is. I think you have to give it water and it will automatically water the plants at those times. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Okay, well, pretty sure that's my fault. So we've got two different setups here again. We have apples, you can see, because we've given them manure and water, we have apples on the trees and it will be the exact same over here for the oranges. If you guys are wanting to get a hold of these mods right here, what you want to do is you want to go into placeables and miscellaneous, and they're going to be some of the very first ones right here. Apple Orchard, 25,000. Orange Orchard, 25,000. These are really cool because they give you money every hour as well. So let's take a look at that. If you guys are in easy, you're going to get $90 per hour. If you're in normal, you're going to get $60 per hour. And if you're in hard, you're going to be getting $40 per hour per thing. So there you go. Right here, we're getting 180 bucks right here. I like it. Our last mod today, other than maps, but our last mod today is the Slurry Lagoon mod by Dorset. Also, by the way, if you guys know who Dorset is, know how to get a hold of them, find them. Dorset, if you're in here and you're watching this right now, shoot me an email, shoot me a message on Facebook, something like that. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to pick your brain. And I'd love to say thank you for all the awesome mods. With that aside, we have three different versions of this. We have the 20 by 20 with two points. We have the 12 by 20 with one point. And we have the 18 by 18 round with one point. Now, we have a by point a storage point 
and a sell point, and all three are available in all three options. Let's check this out. So you're gonna find this in miscellaneous, and of course, if you've got a bunch of stuff installed, you're gonna have to go through. So here they are, right after the government subsidy sign. Slurry buying station, slurry storage, and slurry selling station. So the big version with two points is $30,000. The medium size one, a medium square is 15, and the round one is 20. Now do keep in mind that the smaller version and the round version only have one point. However, the big square version has two points. Now, holding wise, they all hold 250,000 liters. If you guys are curious, you're only going to be able to hold 250,000 liters. And in which case, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, DJ, why would I not just use the lizard version right here? These guys, why would I not use the old version? Well, you can. That's totally cool. Uh, one thing to note, these only do slurry, not digestate. So if you're wanting to do digestate, you may want to use the slurry trading system over here. Again, I can't tell you what to do. Use what you would like. That's what it's that's what it's all about. It's not that one mod's better than the other. It's they're all different and they all have a place on someone's farm. So if you're gonna be using this mod, let me know down in the comment section. Welcome to Wilhelmina Forest by Catalyzer Gaming. I've talked with Catalyzer Gaming. They basically said that this is a beginner forest map. So if you guys have never done forestry before, but you've been interested in it, this might be the map for you. There's a huge river in the middle, so you've got one side that's got everything that you need, cell points, and then the right side, which is legit trees. Not even roads, it's just trees. Let's see what they say, primarily made for forestry, this map also has a farm cell point for players that would like to work the land, but you will need to cut the trees down in order to do that. There are no primary roads on this map, however, you will find small trails to show the easy path to take. It is your decision how the road should be placed, however. In some cases, you may need to use the terrain tool to smooth the land and add your own road textures. So there you go, Catalyzer Gaming has done a fantastic job helping players of all skill level for logging to find the perfect logging map. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gonna be fun. I probably won't be doing anything with it. Just a heads up, I don't do a lot of logging. But nonetheless, if you guys do, let me know. You're gonna be playing this, very exciting. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below and let me know which one of these mods is your favorite. I'd love to hear from you. That being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. I haven't hit anything yet. Wow.